Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez and I'm an application engineer at Hawkridge Systems. Today we will be going over mouse gestures in SOLIDWORKS 2018. Let's go to the drop down menu and click on tools. We'll scroll down and click on customize. Now in the customize window we'll click on the mouse gestures tab and right away we'll notice a change from the previous edition. Before we had a command column with four additional columns it will allow us to pick the tool and then change the environment that it would be used in. Now in this update, we now have four mouse gesture wheels that belong to the, to the part environment, sketch, assembly, and drying environments. Another addition to the 2018 edition is that now we can max out at 12 gestures instead of the 8 that we could only use in the previous edition. As well as add two gestures in vertical, two gestures in horizontal. We can add three gestures four and eight as in our previous edition and let's leave it for now at four gestures now i can also go to categories and in order to make this a speedier process for us we can click on tools and it'll automatically take us to all the tools in our category and right now i'm looking for a polygon now in this edition i can just click on the tool left click hold and drag and drop it into any of the mouse gesture environments. For now, let's drop it in Sketch and we'll use it here. Another cool addition is that I can actually copy, when I click Control, I can bring down this polygon and I can move it here and it'll copy it within the mouse gesture. Or if I want to copy and bring it down to my drawing, I can replace the line and just drop it here. Whenever I click and and drag you'll notice that I have a red cross there that red cross means that I cannot drop it there if I have a plus that means it gives me the ability to add so we'll go ahead and drop it back into our command box now I've gone briefly over the new updates in SOLIDWORKS 2018 in today's video we covered the mouse gestures and the new improvements and we also were able to see how this can improve our design process by making it faster to get to those tools that we need Thank you again.